Hey everybody, Ben here for the Bono Podcast, and it is breaking news time. It is Gnome O'Clock. Games Workshop have dropped up Gnomes on the preview for Sunday, so let's go and have a look. Okay, so over on Warhammer Community next week, Sunday preview, Gnomes, Pyres... No, no, do you know what? I'm just going to ignore absolutely everything other than the Gnomes because it's finally Blood Bowl team time. I've just finished up a game of Blood Bowl myself, which is why I'm a bit hoarse. And let's go. 3 0 with Skaven. Snuck it in. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> really pleased with that. All right. There's some cool stuff for Warcry, but we don't care about Warcry at all. It is time for the Glimdwaro Groundhogs. And now is the moment you've been waiting for as the game of fantasy football sees the fittest, most athletic, most professional team ever to play the big leagues. It's right. The gnomes are here. So, okay. Gnomes preview. We've got the gnome team here, which we've seen most of before. I don't think we've seen the team token. Uh, we've seen the balls and the coin because they were in the Warhammer display case. But this is the first time we're seeing the whole team here. Um, do you know what? We're going to continue with the article and then we'll come back to that because there's some stuff in there I think we can get our hands on. So the Glimdora Groundhogs are a collection of mischievous gnomes ready to bring their trickery, guile and numerous woodland pals to the Blood Bowl pitch. The team includes 14 plastic miniatures, 8 linemen, 2 illusionists, 2 beastmasters with a choice of badger or goose companions and 2 ball-thieving woodland foxes. You'll also get balls and various tokens themed around gnomes and here is our first shot of gnome Spike, number 17. Haha. <laughs> okay, right. So, it's coming gnome. After years hidden away, the gnomes venture out of their concealed groves and onto the pitch. Guardians of the forest, the very best gnomish... Gnomish? Gnomish? Gnomish superstars take to the gridiron, complete with their furry friends. We might see another one of the stars here. Issue 17. Right. The rules for using your new gnome team to dominate the leagues are in issue 17 of Spike Journal, as well as a team list. This volume includes a spotlight on the Grimdora Groundhogs, advice for coaching this unusual team, new star players, gnome garden leagues, and a Dungeon Ball update. Wicked. Okay, everyone's been talking about Dungeon Ball. Shush door. Everyone's been talking about Dungeon Ball, where they're going to go. So it feels like we're going to have to wait, but potentially not very long. All usual features, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is the first shot at the gnome pitch uh we'll have a look at that in detail in a second it looks like we've got a daytime and a nighttime on there let's see what else we've got coach your gnomes in style with a range of gnome themed accessories dice other stuff okay the gnome team pitch and dugout set includes a double-sided pitch depicting a magical forest in the day and at night there we go complete with rules of playing on it uh, and a pair of dugouts okay that's cool we expected that as well it's possible that your gnomes might need some help on the pitch if they're to overcome some of the tougher teams out there. And that's where the gnome team Treeman and Rodney Roachbait come in. The Treeman will add some punch to his scrimmage line while star player Rodney Roachbait uses his trusty fishing rod to hook the ball right out from under the noses of the opponents. And then some other stuff, some books from Games Workshop, not Blood Bowl related. What we like to do is look at the very bottom uh, here on Wormer Community, we'll have a closer look at the Blood Bowl Gnomes, new Dawnbringers fiction, and of course, lots more about the new edition of Wormer Age of Sigmar. Right, we'll ignore that. So we'll have a closer look at the Blood Bowl Gnomes. It is Gnome Week. This is where it gets very, very, very exciting because we're going to find out some of the stats and stuff. Okay, so Gnomes. Uh, right, when does it actually say they're going up for pre-order? I assume it's next Saturday. It doesn't say whether it's going to be one week or two week, does it? We need trips here. Oh, up for pre-order next Saturday. It doesn't actually say how long before they come out. Maybe we have to wait till next team, next uh, next Saturday to find that out. So we've got the Spike magazine and we've got the pitch. I want to have a quick look at the pitch here because we've not seen this yet. Games Workshop tend to be uh, dropping this image only when it comes to like the pre-order coming up, the preview. So, gnome pitch. We've got crisscrossed squares, uh, kind of like dark grass and light grass. You've got lots of bracken, lots of mushrooms, some bushes. I think, what do they call it? The gnome garden pitch. You've got the gnome logo in the center of the pitch. And the only thing we can see from the day to night bit is the other side of the dugout, which just looks like the gnome pitch, but dark with some kind of fairy lights. Not actual, like, fairy lights, like... I kind of got in the studio. Fairy lights like kind of like a blue hue effect, I guess. All right. And then you've got the team card pack and some dice. 
Milton, this is for you. Let's have a swoop in here and look at the gnome team dice. All right. I like the dice. They are a metallic blue with a very popping red inside for detail. Those look absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if they're going to be very effective on stream or anything, but they look very sharp. So I do appreciate that. So with that all in mind, I'm going to be honest, there's nothing here. We've not got any more clues as to what gnomes do, uh, but at least we've got confirmed that they're coming. So next Saturday, they'll be up for pre-order. So team, we've got 14 players, so eight linemen. So right, actually, we did find something out. We thought maybe there would be an extra position or like the guy wandering around on one foot. There was, it was bandied around like, is this going to be a punter? Is this going to be a kicker gnome? It's not. You've got two Beastmasters with a choice of furry friends, which is fine. You've got two foxes with an alternative mouth. And I'll tell you what, do we have a name now as well for the positional? Two illusionists. Interesting. So the witch pieces are called illusionists. So that is going to be a brand new position. The Beastmaster, we know they've got guard. The foxes, we don't really know anything about. Uh, but the illusionists, we know even less about, except they look like they've got some magic spell stuff going on, which is pretty cool. All right. So gnome team next week, the Spike magazine. The Spike magazine is the thing I am the most excited for here. Now, I know that the rules are going to be really cool because... We will finally find out. If you watched our Top 5 Friday last week, Top 5 Gnome questions, it was like, are they going to have dodge? What are they going to cost? What star players are they going to have? We're going to find out all that stuff. But more importantly, as this is kind of a team that's coming out of the closet, it's coming out of nowhere. We, we Like gnomes have bandied about in Blood Bowl, but never on a serious level. Now they're coming into Blood Bowl. We really do need some fluff. We need some fluff as to why gnomes are around. And you guys know my favourite thing about the spike is that one page where there's four different like teams of legend for that spike magazine. That is going to be really interesting. That's where they set the story for these teams. Like I have them by my bedside table and that, it, that's kind of the thing I flick through when I just need to read something for a minute or come up with something creative. You look through that and it gives you some inspiration as to the stories behind some of these teams. And given that we don't know anything about gnome teams, I really hope that sets us up with some nice thematic teams in gnome land. This is going to be what the fifth stunty team as well. So we're going to have a whole extra dynamic to stunty only cups, stunty only leagues and the gnome garden league. That's going to be entertaining. I have no idea what that could be like. And again, I love this. They've been doing this since Spike 11, where they had the Necromantic team and the Necromantic team had stuff, right? They had the, the, the extra league rules and it was just wicked. And then we're going to have to find out if the gnome has got a fun wizard, because if they're all about trickery, what about a wizard that just flip flops a player with another player? And we don't know. That's not what the illusionist is going to do. This is very, very, very cool. So gnomes are coming this week. And the other thing when they said, like, there's going to be an article, the way Games Workshop does this, I just, I think we're going to see a star player tomorrow. And then midweek, I think we'll see the article detailing what the team does. And then Saturday will be the day where uh, Guerrilla Miniatures Games and stuff is able to tell the stuff. And that's when we get cooking. And we, <laughs> I've already, I've already sort of said like those Saturdays when gnomes come out, I will be making videos and doing content all day because I, I just, this is where it gets really interesting. And then as soon as we've got the stats, I've printed a fake gnome team uh, based on the box and a couple of trees so that as soon as we get stats, we can go live with a stream so that we can start playing gnomes as soon as we know some of the stats. So um, that look for that, oh, I don't know. If the pre-order goes live next Saturday, look for that potentially over the weekend. If not, the Monday night Blood Bowl will be Gnomes, assuming the Guerrilla Miniatures Games and stuff does the video with showing Gnome stats. Um, hey, if I drop it, Games Workshop, drop it this week. We might even be doing that. We will be streaming tomorrow night. Ben and Trips are coming round. We've had so many tech issues in the studio that we're going to try and jam every Monday night to get this working. Trips has found some more tech. He's got an extra PC. So we're going to run the cameras through that PC to take the load off the laptop 
um, which with five cameras, the stream and the HDMI out was just struggling a bit, as you may have noticed. So tomorrow the lads are coming around and we will be going full tech. But I'm expecting a star player tomorrow. It's Monday. They do new mini Monday. That will be happening. Surely we'll see one of the other star players. And then the weekend, we find out everything. I hope. Anyway, right. Let me know in the chat what you think, because it's kind of final prediction time. And that makes me very happy. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more bubble content. Happy gnoming! Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions. Or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things. We've got tokens and stuff like that. Or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking.